Hi, today I'm taking a look at an iconic Australian wine, one of uh, Penfold's Bin Series wines. This is Bin 28, uh, and it's Kalimna Shiraz. It's the 2014 vintage of that. Um, so Penfold's um, a historic Australian producer, um, founded in 1844 by um, Dr. Rawson Penfold, who um, took an estate at um, McGill, then just outside um, Adelaide, to the north of Adelaide, um, and started growing grapes there. Um, the company's history has, has seen quite a few changes in sales, and it's, it's now part of the Treasury Group, who are one of the leading producers of Australia's wines, al along with um, several other major brands and also some American brands as well. Um, Kalimna itself is named after a vineyard in the Barossa Valley. Um, a vineyard that the company bought in 1945 and which um, produces um, concentrated, um, rich, very typically Barossa Shiraz. Um, and um, this particular vineyard has often formed the core of, of wines sort of such as um, Grange, Penfold's famous um, wine, sometimes sort of seen as a first growth for the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and so the concentrated fruit has been quite important in, in blending some of their wines. Uh, the wine is is no longer um, is no longer wholly from the Barossa Valley. It's it's now a South Australian blend, but it it, it sort of reflects quite a long heritage. I mean, the first vintage of of um, bin twenty eight was nineteen fifty nine, so um, I think the style is still intending to to sort of keep um, keep true to the, the that heritage. Um, this particular wine is, is evidently it's a blend not just of Barossa Valley fruit, but also fruit from the McLaren Vale, um, from Langhorn Creek, um, from a place called Ratton Bully in the Limestone Coast, um, from Port Lincoln, and from the Clare Valley. Um, the wine ages in American oak, which is pretty typical for um, traditional styles of um, Barossa Shiraz. Um, those are larger barrels, they're hogsheads, um, and th they're seasoned oak, so, so no new oak to give. So, so they're not, not a vehement um, vanilla flavour, but uh, more to give um, oxygen and softness and roundness to the wine. Um, and it stays in those for a year. Um, the um, the wine has a reputation for ageing really well, so so let's, let's see what we think of this. Um, just in terms of price, I should probably also mention, I mean, cu current releases of this are somewhere in the region of sort of 26, 28 US dollars in, in, in the American market. Um, this, the 2014, uh, you'd expect to see uh, more at about sort of 38, 40 dollars, I suppose. Um, so to look at the color, you've got a, um, a deep, I can't see through it, dark uh, ruby to purple, Sort of colour. It's, it's not a vivid blue purple at the rim, but there's a um, a distinct um, mauve edge to it. Um, and when I when I swirl the wine, um, it may take a little while for the tears to form. But the, the tears form is fourteen and a half percent alcohol, so it's not surprising that there's that the combination of extract and alcohol are causing it to cling to the glass. But but actually the tears are staining the glass sort of with a, a, a purple note there. So it's quite. There's, there's good colour to the wine, certainly. Um, let's have a look at the aroma, shall we? There's a lovely richness there, and it's it's rich, ripe fruit. Not particularly, um, not particularly high toned. There's quite a, a sort of a, I guess there's a note of raisin sultana in there, but not a not a sort of a lifted note. The the fruit has a everything through from raspberry through sort of really ripe plum. Um, uh, mulberry, those sort of notes. So more the red end of the spectrum than the black. Um, although there's a a lovely richness, and there are vanilla notes, maybe even a tiny touch of anise there, um, and some spices. There's cedar wood. Um, Maybe a tiny touch of pepper, but I, a very, very sort of restrained note there. But yes, lovely, ripe, open fruit. So let's have a taste. Oh, 
the wine is medium to full body perhaps not as full as um, a Barossa Shiraz might might be um, so a, uh, there's a certain amount of elegance to the structure the, the tannins are smooth and rounded there's not a grainy grip to it um, there's a slightly sort of drying note just to the finish I suppose the alcohol is cutting in it doesn't seem hot there's enough um, fruit to stop the 14 and a half percent alcohol from from burning but um, it does slightly dry the finish and it gives a pepperiness there um, and reveals a little bit of that sort of um, you know, slightly toasty um, slightly cedary oak but in in general it, the, the, the first impressions of this lo lovely juicy uh, red dark red fruit so there's a there's a slight raspberryness to it um, but much more the sort of the mulberry richness um, not quite to a brambly note but heading in that sort of direction a really sort of dark rich plum um, there's a there is a warmth to the fruit uh, a ripeness that that's that's really very attractive um, the flavors are lasting nicely the acidity is not it's not particularly mouth-watering but it's enough to lift the fruit and give it brightness and some vivacity um, and a bit of length that sort of the red fruit is lingering very very attractively um, I mean this is a wine that, that has a, f a few years it has been in bottle for a few years now it's eight, eight years old um, it, there's certainly no need to age it for longer to make it soften although I suspect this would quite happily um, stay in bottle for another five or six years and still be um, very approachable and very enjoyable um, so yes Penfold's been 28 Kalimna Shiraz I hope you found that interesting. I hope you'll join us again. Bye now.